Worth's Panther Island is one step closer to becoming a reality. This afternoon, a consulting firm unveiled its new and improved vision for the development to both the Tarrant Regional Water District and the City Council. It's a project that's been decades in the making. Our Caroline Vandergriff is live at the TRWD Administration Building, and she's got all the details for us. Caroline. Well, guys, today's presentation was more of a framework for an overall vision for Panther Island, not a detailed master plan. Consultants laid out the possibilities for a one-of-a-kind waterfront district right on the Trinity River just outside of downtown Fort Worth. Panther Island will be a byproduct of a bypass channel on the river being built by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to modernize the city's flood control system. That will create just over 190 acres of developable land, mostly owned by public entities like the city and the Tarrant Regional Water District. The goal is to create a mixed-use neighborhood with residences, offices, restaurants, shops, schools, and more. A system of canals, diverse parks, bike routes, and waterfront access will set it apart from other developments. This new roadmap for implementation is a way to build momentum and move the project forward. There seems to be a real sense of optimism here after decades of various controversies, delays, and funding issues with the project. Certainly not all the details are ironed out, but it has set us on a clearer path for the community to understand better. It's also modernized the vision. The, the previous vision of Panther Island is 15, 20 years old. A lot has changed in the real estate market since that time. A lot has changed in Fort Worth. The project will take decades to complete, but there are some aspects that can be built and enjoyed far sooner. First, the city has to work through some zoning changes, and the water district needs to start planning to sell some of the land to developers in cooperation with the city. The, the consultants say it's key to change people's perceptions about Panther Island to show that things are actually happening. They don't want to get bogged down in the history of the project. They want to keep looking forward towards the future. Live in Fort Worth, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS News, Texas.